Hi, so something interesting going on right now. I seem to have sort of broken the way OBS is displaying my um my Twitch chat because I was trying to figure out how to put my chat on the, the screen to stream with, which didn't uh didn't go well, I couldn't figure it out, and now uh it does seem to show me what people are saying in chat. It also seems to just say failed to load module below it. So that's uh a cool neat sort of thing that I am going to be navigating this stream and I'll probably try to fix it after, but I got bored. <laughs> I got bored. I wanted to play Pokemon, so I'm gonna play Pokemon. So, probably gonna be grinding for this, mostly. Um, and then, at some point, I would like to challenge the gym, but I, I gotta... I want to evolve um, Pom Pom and hopefully gain the ground typing. I think Pom Pom will gain, gain the ground typing after evolving, so I'm just... Basically, we lost our, our only ground type last stream, so I just gotta try to try to get a new one by evolving Pom Pom. This is my plan right now. And then hopefully someone will have a, be able to learn a rock type move or something to take care of the Amalga, because those are annoying. Level 25, okay. This is gonna be annoying. Should probably just switch, actually. This is gonna take forever otherwise. Scary, scary. I don't like this. I didn't realize they would be this high level. Everyone's a bit too high level for us. Okay, I don't think Pom Pom can switch out because he's the highest level other than Snibble who is weak to both types that this is. Ah, uh, that's not ideal. Somehow along the line we just got incredibly underleveled and I don't know how that happened, but it's really scary. I'm glad that this guy only has one Pokemon, because I want to get out of here and I guess go grind in the baby levels again, because everything is just so high level here and I don't know where it came from. Because we were doing fine and then all of a sudden, I guess it expected us to like fight. Um. Like everyone in the desert resort area and I skipped out and that is coming back to bite me so hopefully we can survive this and then go train a ton because this is scary. I really don't want to lose Pom Pom. <laughs> I think we have enough healing items that if we're just slow and careful, we should be okay. I'm scared of what happens if it gets a crit, though.
I, I think we can do this, but it's... We might run out of um, healing items first. That's what scares me. More damage that time. What's going on? Or did we just... No. Somewhere along the line we ended up taking more damage because it used to only take us down to 40. And... Dang. Should still heal us back to full, though. Just kind of an intense way to start off the stream. I wasn't expecting this. I was just... I didn't think that the, like, the, the random guys that are in here would be this strong. It's a good thing I had all these healing items that I can just kind of waste on this. Uh-oh, if I run out of round, that's not going to be good either. Because Mudshot doesn't have any effect, and Bubble Beam shouldn't be very effective. Not very exciting gameplay, just very stressful. <laughs> I should have set up Aqua Ring at the beginning of the battle. I just didn't think it would take this long. Yeah, true. I just... Are you dark fighting? You're dark fighting, right? You're gonna- you're- you're gonna die to this. Um, does flying resist flying? Flying might resist flying. Oh, Fizz, please survive. remember what does the most damage and I don't want to mess around so I'm gonna check moves 50 60 50 okay heart stamp is also good because it could cause it to flinch I guess we really are just going to have to go back and still grind just so, so much. Because that, that was miserable. It wasn't that strong. We're just under-leveled. I, I think we must have been expected to grind in the desert, but I didn't want to mess around in sandstorm weather, so I just... 
Ah, <sighs> uh, that that's good to know. I didn't I didn't know that. I just remember them as being good to grind with, but that means different things when you're not playing a Nuzlocke, so that explains it. I should probably just kind of suck it up and fight some trainers in here, because that's going to be less dangerous than the city. Even with all of the sand. Yeah, I think my number one goal for this session is just to get Pom Pom to evolve, and then I'll worry about the other stuff, because rushing it has just gotten our team really messed up. <laughs> Oh, I guess I can just one-hit KO them. That works. Now, if I recall right, there is, um, a doctor right outside the desert resort that I can, I can heal with. Yeah, there they are. So I can train, like, right here, and then go back and heal. I'll fight that guy after I get a level or two. Yeah, cause it's, it's, it's a little guy. It's a little guy. Oh, speaking of little guys! Oh, I love Dwebble. There's so many good bug type Pokemon in Gen 5. Not anything close to a hot take or anything new. I just really like them. Generally, I think Gen 5 has a bunch of great designs. Oh, wow, that, that would be soon. That, I would not mind at all if that were the case. It seems like the, 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 the enemy trainers, like, in the gym and in the, um... Yeah, the reason I thought that the that the uh, the sports trainers wouldn't the reason I thought the sports trainers would be like under level twenty five is because the gym trainers were level twenty five, and I felt like oh, this is a natural place to grind before taking on the gym, so I assumed they would be lower level than the gym. But it seems they're around the same level as like the entry gym leaders, so that's uh, something to keep in mind, I guess. Okay, we'll see if you're right. Yeah! Nice! Hooray! Okay, now let's, uh, well, heal, just because, and I really want to make sure that, um, he actually does become park ground type. Yes! Okay, so, this is sort of the base of our strategy here, and then, um, 
So Mudshot isn't very strong. I wonder, do we have any interesting TMs, like, whatsoever? It might be worth checking that out. Oh, yeah, I also need to stock up on healing stuff now that I burned all of them fighting that... that duck. <laughs> um, Dig? Dig is pretty good. I hope we- I don't think I want to use Retaliate just because I'm trying to be optimistic. No. No. Um. Don't think so. This one could be good. They have a lot of grass types, so we'd have to figure out which one to give it to. It's a fighting move. Cut. Okay, so we don't have any rock type moves, but we do have a good ground type move. Um. Let's see. Oh, I can't learn dig. Um. Flint and Skater Girl can learn dig, though. Um, I. Let me see what Flint has going for him right now. Oh, he's got some good stuff. I don't. Know if I want to mess with the the move set right now. His move set is pretty solid. Um, I don't really want to. Uh, I don't really want to mess with Skater Girl's moves. <laughs> the name still make me laugh. Skater Girl's move set um too much because I I think she can learn like actual stab moves, unlike a lot of like normal types don't really. It's, like, part of the fun thing about normal types is they can learn a lot of different stuff, but, um, I would like to keep her within her sort of stab range, probably. I think I'll try to fight this hiker if I haven't already. Hoping this is not a disaster like the last couple battles. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I see. I skipped most of the battles in here, so that would make sense why I am now so underleveled. Given this was about the level I expected them to be in the 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 stadium area, so this is unfortunately where I should be grinding. I just don't like the sandstorm. But, uh, Pomcom can fight in the sandstorm now that he's part ground type. So that's good. And I am being way overcautious with healing, but that's just the way it goes, given we almost died uh, so many times and also did die, have a death last time. You're not gonna fight me. Item! Stardust. I wanna fight hikers because I'm more likely to be super effective against them and also with the. Um, with Pom Pom, who isn't worried about the sandstorm anymore, so. Okay, this is not a fight for... <laughs> Aww, that's, that's my favorite Pokemon right there. I love Maroctus so much, but unfortunately... It's not in the cards for us to be friends right now. As sad as that is. So sorry to do this to you. <laughs> oh, that's a level up for Snibble, I think. Yep. That's good, at least. Uh, that has recoil. I'm not messing with that. Oh, a 
other item. Super potion. I definitely need that. Let me see. Is there... Is there a storm in the desert resort? No. Okay, I think... Let's see. If they have ghost types, that would be a problem. But if... What would I do with the eight ghost types? I would send out Flint. Okay. Uh, psychic. Uh, maybe it would be safer for me to put Flint out for this, but I bet the psychics will um have. Yes, the Psychics will have Psychic-type Pokémon, and I got the dark moves. Psychic flying, interesting. <sighs> it's two levels higher, so I hope this goes well. But I, I have another Pokemon I can switch to if it doesn't. Alright, those beam attacks are scary. Maybe I should switch to uh, Fizz for the, the last thing. I don't really want to waste any more healing items just to be safe. It's time to leave. Oh, nice XP though. Just gotta slowly pick my way around the area, I think. It's the best way to do it. Maybe get everyone to level like 25, which of course would take some backtracking for the grass types because I don't really want them to be messing around out here. Snibble breaks through, he should be able to one-hit KO. So I'm gonna try it, and then I think if it doesn't go well, I can switch out. There we go. see who doesn't have an item. What item does Flint have right now? Smoke ball. It might be worth putting the dark glasses- I, I would either put the dark glasses on Flint for Crunch or on Fizz for Assurance. I'm not really sure. 
I would probably... I'm more likely to send Flint out against things that are weak to dark types, because uh, Fizz is weak to some things that are weak to dark type, like Ghost. So I might take that orb and give that to someone else. Because it doesn't really matter who has it. Whoops. That's not what I meant to select. There we go. It's got glasses now. That's fun. This can have that, just in case we ever want to be able to switch someone in and get away. Any trainers? Any trainers around here? There's an item! Heart scale, nice. I don't remember what's in here. I guess it's just... Oh, it's probably where the, the relic castle in the east sort of lets out. Pom Pom's new form is very cute. I like how he bounces. It's a good bounce. Flint's new glasses. We need to see what we can do with them. Oh, right. Yeah. Nice. That's added bonus. Oh! Interesting. Well, it's not actually going to do much because the move's still super effective against you, but at least you could have potentially hit Flint had he not just killed your Pokemon. If he hadn't done that, that could have been a plan that would have worked, but unfortunately... Well, fortunately for me. Wow, that didn't give much XP. Flint's just kind of a menace to these psychics. Have I fought you? Yeah, I have. <sighs> just kind of a mellow night tonight. I didn't do much today, but I'm really excited because I had some supplies to make uh, resin toys come in the mail, and I am very excited to dig into that. I was I was actually um, gonna try to start working on that tonight, but uh, my energy kind of failed, so I decided to do this instead so it wasn't just me going, oh, well, I guess I can't do anything. You know? It's still nice to do something, even if it wasn't what you planned on. I saw a psychic somewhere around here. I'll put Flint out front again for that. I 
I don't think you need to be a psychic to know that, but I, I suppose that is the joke. Oh, level 24. That's fire. Frisk? Frisk Undertale? Is that you? Is that you? Is that you, Frisk Undertale? I guess not. I, I I don't think that is I don't think that's Frisk Undertale, guys. I I don't think so. Oh, it its ability was called Frisk. So I was just joking about that. Oh, whoops! I still have Flint out. I guess I'll switch to um. I. Why is my brain like this? To Pom Pom! Switch to Pom Pom! Gosh, I'm out of water on my desk pretty much. I might have to go refill it soon. I probably should have refilled it before the stream, but I just... I actually had, like, two half-full glasses. I had, like, one glass with, like, a little, like, orange drink in it. And it was, like, half-full. And then my water bottle was, like, half-full. And I've been staying hydrated. So, they're all gone. I should switch back to... Yeah, I'll probably go refill my water soon because it isn't it isn't good to be dehydrated. The stream will probably also be on the shorter side, just because, like I said, it's kind of a low energy day. But I just thought, like, even if I can't stream for very long, like, might as well go for like at least an hour, see how I feel. At least it's something, you know. I do kind of wish there was something more interesting for me to talk about, but there really isn't. Like, it's just, we're just grinding. It's not that interesting, unfortunately. Oh, sturdy. more fun images on my on my on my stream <laughs> that could be something we could do I I I've definitely talked about this before but it's just something about uh, adding images to the, the stream window through OBS is just so good for my brain it's like I have a little sticker book and I put my stickers wherever I want just slap down a transparent PNG and there I go. It's great. Let me see what I if I have anything interesting. This is good content. I'm. I promise you, it is. I can tell you because I'm. I'm an expert, and I know. I know everything. Just gotta find something interesting to put.
There we go. It's a traffic cone. It's very exciting. And I can just drag it around. And there it is. And now you know. Well, I don't know what it's warning about. I, I really don't, but... You know. It could be in something. If you wanted it to. Let's see how we're doing. Yeah, you're right! It fits perfectly! We're playing in Nuzlocke, you gotta look out because our Pokémon could die and that would be very sad. And, uh, that's the explanation of my stream layout, and I hope you all enjoy it. I think I might backtrack to the forest so Gamer and the people who don't like being in the sand can just kinda get, get fed. I'm gonna feed them some tasty food. Ah! I'm sad, I didn't even, we didn't even get our, um... No, we did, dang, yeah, okay, never mind. There, there would have been no way that we could have gotten this. Because we did, we did catch a, a sand dial named Kwing. Um. Back in, uh, the, in this area. Wait, no, there are three. There are three. I don't know. It would have been nice if we could have encountered it because we did accidentally kill one of our encounters here. And what if instead of the killed encounter, it's the um, the encounter that was the favorite Pokemon in the world that's mine and I love it and it's green? That would have been neat, I think, in my opinion. Dang, there's a lot of people here. Can't fight any of them? Can fight this, I guess. I have to backtrack so far to find areas that are good for my my little grass friends. They're just plants. They're just some little plants. They need they need a they need a cozy place. They need a cozy place to live. It's not good for plants to be in the desert. Unless they're plants from the desert, and then they can be. But my plants aren't from the desert, they're from the forest, so we should take them to a forest so we can give them some food and they can get strong. And by food, I mean, I mean violence. I mean they defeat other Pokemon. And that's, that's how you feed them. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, excuse me. Can, can you just, can you walk around, please? Please? No, I'm, I'm trying to, I need to go this way. I, I, I know you're, you want to go this way too. The, well, the other way, but, like, can you just move aside, please? I'm asking you very politely. I don't want to step in the sand, because there are Pokemon in there. I don't know if you noticed. So, if you could just walk around me, that would be great. Thanks. Is it still winter? I can't remember. I mean in the game. I know it's winter in real life. I'm, I'm not that far gone. Oh, I should get, I should get like some, some juice. And by juice I mean water. I'm just gonna be spamming this for a bit, sorry.
I didn't know that's how they did that. That's good to know. I really do need to figure out how to put my my stream on my stream my my chat onto my stream so that people when they watch this back it'll be less confusing when I respond to people in chat. Um, I was trying to figure that out today, but then I got kind of bored and I just wanted to stream so I think I'll do it on a separate occasion where I'm not trying to muster up my energy to stream on top of that. This should be enough I think. Oh right, I have my bike now, so this is less tedious than it would be otherwise. Which is good. Eh! I should probably register this. There we go. Skater girl up a couple levels on Audino would probably be best. You know, actually, I'm not done. I just want to save because I'm going to get up for a second. It won't be very long. I just want to refill my water and use the bathroom and stuff. Oh. Yeah, I am maybe looking for excuses to... There we go beautifully decorated screen and I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. I'll remove the... Oh god, I need to start naming these things. <laughs> I get so excited, and then I don't name them, and then I'm hovering over them like, What the heck is this? Where did it come from? I don't know which one to... to get rid of. I, I hid the, the BRB because... Oh! Yes! Ah, uh, she's so pretty! She's so pretty now! A tall, elegant gamer. Yvanny is very good. I like how it's known to make uh, leaf cloaks for like any Pokemon. Like not, I think it doesn't just make it for, whoa, that's a lot of XP. I like how it doesn't just make it for like the other Pokemon on its evolution line. It just, I think it will just make it for like the leaf clothes for any random Pokemon, which I think is very cute. The most generous gamer we have here. Hang on, I just realized something. It's a hat. Okay, we can get back to playing the game. the type of image. Well, it's not nearly as much XP as the Audino though. And take a sip of water. I should probably just mute myself when I drink uh, water on the streams. I don't know if it picks up, but I'm always like 
trying as hard as I can to drink water as quietly as possible. And maybe that's a little bit silly. Maybe I should put myself through that. Well, this is going to give hardly any XP, so at least it isn't one that would be hard for Gamer. And this monkey will be easy for Gamer to destroy. Gamer's getting so close! After this, I'll probably let Skater Girl have a turn. Skater Girl should be pretty good for these, because uh, she's got some super effective moves, I think, against them. Nice. Good job, gamer. We love you, gamer. around with poison types. I loved after after she after Skater Girl defeated the Audino, she held her little arms in the air like ta-da! Ta-da, I did it. Ooh, payback. Fifty. Sixty. Yeah, this is actually, like, just a way better place to grind than the desert. Which is a little bit unfortunate given how much backtracking it is, but just if you wait around for Audino, it just kind of pays off. Like, the, the, the levels go by pretty quick. hard when it's far away.
Ugh. Darn it. I don't know why it bothered to show the, the, the Moxie stat boost after um, a single battle wild encounter. Because, like, the battle's over and, you know, stat boosts don't last outside of battle. So, it, it, I guess it's just they would have to, you know, code a whole new thing to sense. They, you know, they'd have to add a, add lines to check if you're in a single Pokemon wild battle and disable it, which I guess isn't really isn't really worth it. <laughs> so I get why it's still there, just isn't really necessary, I guess. But sometimes it takes more effort to make things selective than to just leave them. No, where are you? Really not getting any shaking grass right now, huh? Had such a nice streak going. There are so many showing up. Ah, oh, there we go. trick is just to complain. If you complain, then you'll get what you want. Let's see, will this take us to level 24? Yes! Nice! Hmm. 
let's see, level 24, 28, 27, 23, 22, 24. The guys need some... The guys need some work. Kind of is a shame how much of these streams just amount to me grinding, but that's just kind of how it is in the Nuzlocke. Like, I guess I could be more reckless and not, uh, like, prep ahead, but that isn't really, like, my playstyle. And also, then more Pokemon would die, and that would be sad for me, personally. I wouldn't like it. I don't know, it just, it doesn't feel right to me to, like, oh, I'm not being entertaining, so I should play in a way that's totally not how I would normally play this game. That doesn't really sound fun to me. It's not something that is of interest of me to do. Well, that wasn't much, but it was... Um, enough to get him over level 23, so that's nice. Ah, uh, that, that would make sense, but then I feel bad if, like, someone died during training, like, with, with Sunflower. That would be sad, and then I wouldn't have, like, people wouldn't be there to share that moment. I guess just record while training just in case. But I don't really want to, like, post past audio on a streaming service. That doesn't make much sense. Yeah, it's nice to, like, just chill and just kind of talk and stuff. On streams where we have a few more people, it can also be really nice, because it's, like, it, we're all kind of just hanging out, and it's very mellow. Uh, when there's not as many people, like, tonight, it's a little bit, um... Of course, my definition of, like... I guess my definition of not very many people is under three, and my definition of very many people is over three, which kind of shows you where I'm at in streaming right now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think it's... When there's more people, it's kind of fun, because I don't need to hold the conversation as much. I can sort of respond to what people are saying in chat, which I'm still doing, obviously. I'm talking to you. You two. I think there's only two people in chat, which is very valid. Uh, but like, it, I have to, I have to try to carry it more, and oftentimes I don't because I just, I haven't developed my streamer brain very much, and this is this game doesn't have much to talk about. And then I get excited thinking about like OBS features and start playing with those instead of the the like instead of talking about the stream i just noticed oh hey i can do things in 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 obs well i guess that's technically the stream but the game the game that i'm streaming but then i look over and i see all my obs features and i'm like what if i put a hat on this drawing of a hamster and then i do that and it's great but it... yeah i don't know where i was going i don't know where i was going with that i cannot say why, thank you. Oh, nice. Almost halfway. I think I want to get everyone to at least level 24. Hopefully level 25. <laughs> that, I, I don't think that would be for everyone, but that that's I'm glad to hear that. I definitely need to do, like, more layout customization, because I do want to get a proper Twitch chat up, because I, I have been downloading, I downloaded last stream's VOD, and I'm going to download this stream's VOD, so I can, I'll eventually probably put them somewhere. I like, I like doing this. I don't know if I'm going to, I'd like to do it more. I like the idea of having something social, because honestly, 
I am at the point where I very rarely play video games unless I'm doing it socially with friends, and this is kind of a way where I can sort of be socially playing video games, um, without having to, like, organize a whole group of people to come hang out with me. And I would like to play video games more because they're fun, but my brain just doesn't, doesn't really click to them unless there's someone else doing it with me. So I'm basically... I've become a Twitch streamer in order to bribe my brain into playing video games. Which I think is as a good a reason as any to, to, to become one. I think there's certainly worse reasons to do pretty much anything. I do want to make this more frequent. It's just... I don't know. I'm doing a bit better physically lately, which is exciting. So... Hopefully they will become, like, I hope maybe I can even put together a schedule and I can try to introduce more games. I've talked to some uh, friends of mine about maybe doing a multiplayer AI dungeon stream together. Um, like, no promises about if that's happening soon or how that's even going to work and maybe we won't, we'll decide we don't want to do it. I don't want to make everyone commit on stream <laughs> before we've actually figured out how we want to do it. Yeah, AI Dungeon has a multiplayer feature. Um, I just, I think it would be fun to, to, to tell a story on stream with my friends and this, this weird AI. I don't, I don't have the, the premium version of AI Dungeon, so I can't do any of the really fancy stuff you might see on other people's streams, but we'll try to give it a go and see how it works out. I don't know. I'm just- I'm looking forward to doing stuff in general. I'm hoping in 2021 I will do things, and I'm not even speaking about the whole COVID not being able to leave the house thing. I just mean literally doing things within my own household, because I haven't been up to that for so long, and I'm starting to be a little bit, and that's a very exciting thing to have happen. So yeah, definitely a goal to do more more streams in 2021. Um, and also, I, I like I said, like the the resin stuff. I want to start doing more hands-on art instead of just computer stuff, which is also obviously using my hands. But I would like to be able to. I want to be able to touch the art. I'm gonna hold the art. I'm gonna, you know. Sculpt the art, I'm gonna pour silicone on it, I'm gonna make a mold out of that silicone, I'm gonna pour resin into the silicone mold, and then blah blah blah. You know. Mm. You are not Nodano, my friend. Sorry to break it to you. It's, you just aren't. Rude. Rude. Rude to me, mean to me, mean to me and my boyfriend. Don't do this. Yeah, I might just get everyone to level 25 and then call it for this stream, which, you know, is still going to be a bit because I got, um, let's see, that's one level for Flint, one level for Fizz, one level for Skater Girl, and one level for Gamer. So just kind of top everyone off and then we're good to go. And uh, there is actually something I do want to show off at the end of the stream that I'm pretty excited about. Um, actually, hang on, I want to make sure I get permission before I, I do that. 
I'll, I'll be, I'll be back in a second. I just... Oh, yeah. Just, uh, take care. Uh, no worries. Have a good night. Ah. I might just do it next time because I have no idea if the person I'm talking to is online. I just want to share permission before, you know. Share permission. Get permission. Get permission to share. Ah, brain. Brain, 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 brain. Yeah, maybe I'll make that for, for next stream. Because it's not, it's not like time sensitive or anything. And I might have actually showed it to some people on Discord. Because I was excited. But uh, someone did a drawing of, of Gamer. And I wanted to, to show that. But I think it would be better to wait for next time because I want to make sure I have full permission first to, to show it on my stream. So close. Gamer fan art of Gamer, our friend Gamer. actually an issue because Flint only needs a tiny bit to finish leveling up anyway, so. Not an issue. After you. Uh, we don't need that. This one's more of a bummer, but it's alright. These monkeys. I need not to know. I need not to know.
this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> oh well. Should still give... Okay. I mean, it should still give pretty good XP, just not, I don't know, levels of good XP. Whimsicott gives like three times the amount that the monkeys do, but the um Audino gives like three times the amount that the Whimsicott does, so Audino is obviously a lot better, but it's might as well take those ones out. Well Well you're there, you know, you're already in the battle and it only lasts a turn or two, so Please? Hey, please? What if I said please, though? If I said please, would, would that make a difference? Please? <gasps> yes! Thank you! Oh, god damn it. This is getting a bit ridiculous. It might be worth it to do switch training in the awful weather area. This is just taking so long all of a sudden. I think if the next if the next thing we encounter isn't an Audino, I'm gonna go see about the switch training. Took a while. Enough to level up. 
Ah, oh, so close. So close yet so far. Why? Huh? Oh, it's nighttime. Dark. We've been going for so long. Oh no! almost done at least and the next time we can like actually do stuff and that'll be fun you know I think I'm, I'm gonna finish up with with switch trading in the, the desert because I'm just I'm losing my patience for this a bit oh right I forgot that I have it set now that's nice That's helpful. Should heal while oh, we're in Castellia City. The billboard saying tw December 2020 on it was just weird emotional whiplash. It's like, no! Can't be 2020 in this game. This is a Pokemon game. It's not supposed to be 2020 in a DS era Pokemon game. That's not right at all. Just weird. Right. Forgot the bike kind of sucks here. Wrong way. So we're probably actually going to get less XP from this, even though they're higher level, because Audino are just really good for XP stuff, but because we can encounter them at such a faster rate, it should balance out, probably. And at least it'll be- less of it will be spent waiting around. That's my theory, anyway. See how much it does it gives. Oh boy, that's oh boy. I may have miscalculated. But that 
sucks. That's not anything. Well, I wonder if different Pokemon will give better XP. That would be good. Also, potentially go back to the the uh, the relic castle and have um, have Fizz get experience that way. That might be good. Okay, so the, the person who did the gamer fan art said, sure. So I, I will show that off at the end of the stream then. Which will be fun. I, I'm excited to... Hmm. Yes! Your power grows, Skater Girl! Ah, uh, that's still so little XP. I made a bad choice. Oh, yeah. I guess that would make it go faster. I don't particularly mind the animations. It's more just trying to find, a, like, trying to hunt around for a good source of XP that gets to me. Yeah, I don't know, I don't really mind the, um, the speed so much as the, like, how tedious it is. Like, the actual battles aren't very bad, it's just getting into them. Interesting. Well, Fizz is stronger because he loves me. You should know this. See? Oh. Uh, that's fine. Oh, wait. Can't use any moves that match it. Okay, that was actually a really smart move for a uh, enemy trainer. Yay! Okay, Fizz is done. We're good. With that, um... Probably better for Fizz, because, uh, Yuna can actually have some pretty strong... Oh, wait, is... Imprison still in effect? I hope not. Phew. Okay. Hi! We're probably gonna actually be finishing up soon, but uh, we do have a little bit more grinding to do, and then I'm gonna show off your, uh, your art. You did a gamer. I just wanna get everyone... To level 25 because we had another <laughs> we basically we started the stream by going to the uh, what's it called the stadium in Nimbasa City and we almost we almost lost we were in danger from that and it was scary 
Uh, so we left and we went to go grind, and then we've just been doing that the whole time because that's. It's just scary. Uh, so it's just been another grinding stream. You haven't really missed much. Uh, oh, right. I should put Skater Girl back in front because she can uh, one shot the sand dials, which is pretty good for her. Sand! Nice! Oh! That's gonna be really good for the gym! That's gonna be really good for the gym. I hope, I hope, I hope that Pom Pom can learn some good ground type moves before the gym. But, I'll go ahead and give that to Pom Pom so I don't forget. There we go. Oh, right. I forgot that, like, everything in here barely gives any XP. Which is why we went back, all the way back to the, the, um, the forest again. So that we could, uh, fight things in the shaking grass. But then the shaking grass was taking forever to show up, and I got bored. So I came up here, and now I'm regretting it, because everything up here gives so much less XP. So I might backtrack again, which I, I, is not ideal, but I'm just... I am bored of- I- I want- I want the experience points to happen, and not- not happen. They're not happening here. Yeah, unfortunately, I think I'm going to backtrack again, because I thought- I thought the experience points here might be better, but they aren't. And I think I already beat pretty much all of the trainers. Except for the ones that I would have to fight to- like, I'd have to go deeper into the- Uh, what's it called? Relic place. The Relic Castle. To fight, which, you know, I could probably explore it at some point, maybe after everyone reaches level 25. Like, I could do that next stream before I try to get prepped for the gym. That might be good. I think that's a good plan, but not for tonight. Oh, right. That's a lot easier. A lot faster. Music up here is really pretty. Oh, thank you! Yeah. It's there. I just kind of randomly get distracted from what I'm doing and go, Oh, hey, you know, I could actually play with OBS instead of playing the actual video game. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't think it has a particular name. It's just kind of here. I don't- like, it's not one that exists on site, I mean. It's like... Um, it just was like a random coloring thing I did in my art program because I wanted to see how it looked. And then I was like, oh, this would be fun to put on my stream layout, actually. So, now it's just on my stream layout. Please, 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 please. Yeah, thank you. Uh, 
keeps happening. So frustrating. I don't really want to mess around with this. Very wary of poison types. This time, please. Please. Yes. Ah, uh, this has been happening like all stream. I just. Well, no, I was doing really good. I was running into a lot of Autumno, and then all of a sudden they disappeared, and all I was getting was, like, elemental monkeys, and I was having a really hard time getting grass, shaking grass to show up, and then when the grass would show up, I would try to walk through the, the, the grass patch, and then it would not, it wouldn't, it, I would get an encounter before I got there, and that would be very annoying to me, so I ran away, and then I discovered that the desert resort is actually worse. So, I came back, but... <laughs> Kinda sucks having to backtrack so far just to have a good grinding area, but... I don't know, I think that's one of the weakest points of Pokemon Black and White, actually. It kind of... I, I feel like grinding and it gets very tedious very quickly. There aren't really very many good sources of XP if you want to keep your whole team nice and leveled. There we go. This is... I mean, I guess the, the grass is... the shaking grass is kind of meant to offset that, but that's why you have to backtrack so far sometimes to even get to the shaking grass. And then if you encounter something that's just a rare encounter, it's gonna be way below level and not really worth very much. So close, so close. We've just got Skater Girl and then Gamer, and I'll save the game and show off the, the stuff. Yeah, the music is so nice. I think this might have been the first generation I started listening to the music in. I'm not sure. I I had my first game was Soul Silver and I didn't really listen to the music in it for some reason. Like I just played with the music off and I have no idea why, but That's what I did. Second graders can make weird choices sometimes. So close.
Oh, excuse me. I'm not sure that that was loud at all. I just... <sighs> Yawn. Please, we're so close. We're almost done. There's seriously nothing showing up, huh? Okay, that's kind of far away. I hope I can get to it. We just need it to be an auto no. Yes! Okay. You know, I think just a random wild encounter would do it. Well, maybe one or two, but like, we're so close, I don't think, I think it would be faster to just do random main encounters instead of the shaking grass. Well, re regular random encounters. Yay! Okay, everyone's level 25 now, or higher. Um, I'm gonna take us back to cast. I somehow, I just can't leave it. I've been working so hard for so long, I can't stop now. Okay, well after this I'm going back to Castelia City and healing and we'll be there for when we want to go to the the desert resort next time. Okay, let me save the game. There we go. I'm going to pull up the art the Tanuki Matt and chat sent did sent did yes. Technically, both of those things were true.
Um, let's see, I thought I saved it. Let me see if I can. Maybe I forgot to save it. Whoops. I'm going to, to um, grab off Discord real quick. Because that was... Oh, I just gotta... Okay, so searching gamer on Discord doesn't immediately bring up what, uh, what I'm looking for, it turns out. It's... it's obviously very surprising to me. I don't understand how that could happen. Uh... Okay. There we go! I'm gonna make it real big. This was um, before she evolved, obviously. Uh, it was her musical outfit. It's very cute. I love it very much. It's a great thing to have as, like, my first fan art of a stream I've done. And I love it so much. Like, thank you. I think it's adorable and just so good. Um, aside from that, I think that's all I have left for tonight. So... I will catch you all later. Good night. Thanks for coming.